How are we doing, Beaches? It's your boy, Papa Solio. Welcome back to Extra Thirsty. Thank you so much for being here. I know you are ready for some hydration. Tessie, are you ready, girl? You are ready. Well, fam, if you're brand new, hitting that subscribe button will get you updated on all the latest Extra Thirsties dropping several a day. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified when the next one drops. And also, I go live every single day right here for the Daily Swole podcast. Thus, all the stuff right here on the side, the What's Up Beaches, just the tip, that knowledge cock, the Swole fan post, the Swole card giveaways every single day. Make sure you subscribe and tune in for those. You don't want to miss the podcast. The podcast is great. And Tess is there too, of course. Oh, you can follow her on Instagram at Tess Hornaday. That's right. That sexy beast right there. Okay, let's get into today's topic. Let's put five on the motherfucking clock. Let's get into it. Y'all, come on. Yow. Let's get into it. Yow. Come on. Y'all. All right. We got a Twitter post today. Now we're talking about fat phobia. Oh, fat phobia. This means being afraid of fatness. Systemic. Systemic fat phobia, meaning like how the entire world is against fat people. It, do you think, let, let's just preface this. Do you think the entire world is against fat people? Really? The enti- do you think it's against, or do you think people have gotten so astronomically fat that the entire world hasn't had time to catch up, to make bigger chairs, to make bigger airplanes? Like, do you know what it's like to outfit airplanes all over again all of a sudden you want bigger seats to fit fat people so you want tickets to be two or three times as expensive because you'll be able to carry less passengers like everyone has to cater to your fat ass (laughs) what what just take care of yourself you wouldn't have these problems literally take care of yourself imagine how much can be solved by just taking care of yourself just fucking take care of yourself please maybe why not? Why not? Let's see what Tommy in Boots has to say. Fucking jabron. Tommy in Boots. If you're talking about, 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 you're talking about, about, you're talking about, about your, I don't know why I want to say it like that, but if you're talking about, about your intentional weight loss, eh? If you're talking about your intentional weight loss, whether it be hopes, attempts, success, even success, lack of success, dreams, wishes, you're contributing to fat phobia in the world. Really? That's fucking really? bullshit. Really? Am I now? Am I now? So if you're talking about losing weight because you're morbidly obese, you're contributing to fat phobia. If you talk about your attempt to lose weight, you're contributing to fat phobia. If you talk about how you've successfully lost 200 pounds, you're no longer morbidly obese and you feel better than you ever have in your entire life, you are contributing to fat phobia. Dreams, wishes? Well, you can't group all that shit together. You're not contributing to shit. Improving your life is objectively better. It's like that with anything. You do realize, Tommy, that you can put in effort. Hmm? You can put in work. Hmm? You can change your life. Hmm? You don't have to abide and subscribe to this bullshit. What are you trying to peddle here? You trying to make some friends on Twitter? That's cute. I remember my first beer. Yeah, you're trying to make some friends? Tommy needs some friends. Bring some, let, let's round up the fatties. Round up the fatties. Round up the weak-willed. Round up the depressed. Round up the depraved. Round up the people that don't want to change. Now I say depressed. I'm just, I'm just fucking ranting. This is, it, it bothers me so much. I can't even speak coherently. Let me take a deep breath. Oh. Okay, I feel better now. I feel better. How do you feel, Tess? Yeah, I know. I know. I, I I hear you. I'm picking up what you're putting down. I got you. What are your thoughts, fam? Drop a comment down below, by the way. I love to read the comments sometimes. No, but drop a comment down below. What do you think? And look, I want to know your experience. Okay. Have you attempted to lose weight? Have you been successful in losing weight? Have you not had success? Have you had not success, like lack of success, and then actually had success? Because you need to fail before you succeed. Most people fail over and over again, but they never give up. The only guarantee that you'll never get results is if you quit. So you keep on putting in effort. Effort. You keep on crushing it. You keep on investing in your future, in your health. Don't you want to be alive? This is why I don't get. Don't you want to live? Don't you want to live, man? Don't you want to fucking live? What's wrong with people? 
They just don't want to fucking live. They don't want to have breath in their lungs. They don't want to have mobility in their body. Why, why are people so satisfied with being so below average? Why are people so satisfied with trashing their fucking body? And the fact that if you've had success, if you have dreams and wishes, if you talk about trying to lose weight, especially if you fucking have to, I'm not telling anyone to lose weight that doesn't have to lose weight. If you have to lose weight, then fucking lose weight. It's on you. Look, it's no, look, Tommy and anyone else, if this bothers you, if you don't want to lose weight, hey, I would say it's not on me, but I'm going to be paying your hospital bill. I'm going to be paying out that shit out the fucking ass from taxes because I'm healthy. I don't have big medical bills because I take care of my fucking shit. What about you? The fuck have you done lately? This is just lack of action. It's embarrassing. This is eighth place trophy type shit. What are your thoughts, fam? Drop in the comments down below. What are your thoughts about fat phobia and losing weight? If you intentionally try to lose weight, you can trip me to fat phobia. Shit. Oh my god, fucking shit. Make sure you subscribe for some more Daily Swole Extra Thirsty and the podcast and stuff every single day. And I'll see you next time. Drop a comment. Peace. I don't give a okay, fuck what you think. Dang. I don't know you. you. You don't know me. me. Still got my soul. So. Still make this brief. Oh, yeah. This change. But I stay me. They try to take.